Hi, I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to look at the playlist in FL Studio. So, I've got here an arrangement that I've previously been working on. Um, as you can see, there's loads of different stuff in the in the playlist window. Um, you can uh, basically you can control it by zooming in and out. You can hold control and scroll the mouse wheel, or you can move this bar at the top, and you can extend it or stretch it to fit where you need to be viewing on the screen. Um, so the, there's some basic navigation tools. So you've got the bar at the top here that I've talked about. On the right-hand side, just in this corner, there's the, the option to expand it so you can make it bigger in that way. For me, the best way to navigate the playlist that I've found is using uh, con holding control and then right-clicking. So what this does is it highlights a portion of the playlist. And you can then zoom in and out of that selection. So if you don't select anything at all and press Control and right click, it zooms you all the way out. But if I wanted to focus specifically on a, uh, maybe these chords down here, I can just hold Control, highlight those chords, and I've got those now fully in vision. So you can quickly move out and around the arrangement by using Control and right click. So it's a real good tip to use that one. So I also use scrolling in and out. So, it, so you can see now, as we look at the arrangement and the different things that I've got in here, I've got um, some audio loops. So you can drag audio loops directly in from your packs and drop them into the playlist. That will load them in. So I've got some loops loaded in there. I've also got my snares, so my drums are in here as audio. But then I've also got as well some, uh, some patterns. So we've, uh, I've created these patterns here. And if you double click on th uh, any of the patterns, you'll see now that the pattern is linked into the uh, channel rack. So if you play just the pattern, you can see that that's playing just in the channel, but that is also, that's in the arrangement. So I've dragged it from uh, the list here in the playlist. All your patterns are going to appear in this list. So you can just drag them in to your arrangement. And the thing with FL Studio is you're not linked to a specific track. I have here, for good measure, organized it and kept everything on the single tracks. But I could move that pattern, for instance, I could drop it anywhere on the playlist and it would recognize it and play it. It's not, you're not linked into a lane as you are in other, uh, in other doors. So you can see now that I've got an arrangement here with um, different patterns. I've got uh, automation going on. Um, it's all held in this window. This is where you create the song. So to play uh, the arrangement, you just go up to the top left where you've got pattern and song, just make sure song's highlighted, and then you'll be playing from this window. So if you press play, and you can see the song's developing over time due to the automation. And this is how we create more of an advanced song, and we introduce elements. So on the left hand side, as you as you added uh, instruments in, you're going to find uh, all of the patterns by clicking on this uh, this little keyboard icon. Uh, that's where all the note information is held. So any of those patterns you've created in the piano roll, they're all held there. Any audio data you've got in the project uh, is going to be found under here. So you can quickly drag in and access it there. Uh, and all your automation clips then are found under this this option here. And you can expand that and make that. Uh, bigger and smaller by using this little toggle there. Um, and looking up at the top right now, uh, you've got the magnet tool. So this selects how, um, so basically it affects the grid on the, uh, on the playlist. Let's make the playlist full screen now for this. Um, so you can see that as I move this clip around on the playlist, it's snapping to the grid. So you can change that by selecting the different options in here if you wanted to. Um, alternatively, you can just uh, select uh, anything on the playlist and hold Alt. And as you hold Alt, that's going to move it completely off the grid. So if you wanted to fine tune something, you can just hold Alt and you can move it around the playlist at free will. And then it, it is, of course, still stuck on the grid if you don't hold Alt. So you've got the ability of moving off and on the grid quite easily there without having to maybe change the, the uh, actual snap of the grid. But if you wanted to work to a half step, you've obviously got the option to do so there. So you can also uh, navigate around the screen by holding mouse wheel. Uh, you can scroll around the screen, which is quite helpful. Um, you can also use the uh, arrows on your keyboard if you so wish to. Um, again, right clicking out gives you a full overview of the playlist, which is quite useful. So there's some very shortcuts that you'll need to know in the playlist as well. Uh, so on the top left-hand screen of this playlist, you've got the different icons here, which represent the shortcuts you've got. Um, an important note to 
important thing to note is that this, these uh, shortcuts that you've got for the playlist only register if you've got typing to keyboard off. So if you've got the MIDI coming out of your keyboard, like I've selected here, the shortcuts that I want to show you will not work if you've got that option enabled. So you want to make sure that that's turned off if you want to use these shortcuts. But ultimately, you've got at the top, you've got draw. So what draw does, it just allows, enables you to draw in single instances of the selected clip that you've got. And to select a clip, you can simply just click on it. So if there's something that you want to edit and work on, for instance, if I want to draw uh, this loop, I can just click on it and it's already selected as now, if I click anywhere in space, it's going to create another instance of it. But if I wanted to duplicate this snare, for instance, I could just click on that snare and then now when I click, it's drawing that snare. So you can quickly just move around the different sounds that you're editing by just clicking on them. Um, you've also obviously got the option of selecting them from this list, but I find just clicking on them and editing them here is great. So that's the draw functionality. It's quite a basic tool. Um, you've also, and that's highlighted by clicking on P on the keyboard. So if you've got that option disabled, press P and then you're in draw mode. If you press B, you're in uh, paint mode, so it's a paintbrush. So this is basically very similar to draw, but it enables you to click and drag and then duplicate things quite easily. So I tend to use this option the most when I'm editing. Um, there's also an option to do delete. So delete, you can obviously delete clips, but quite frankly, if I'm in uh, uh, brush mode here or draw mode, I can just right click and I can delete anyway. So that's not necessarily required. There's option to mute clips if you wanted to mute them individually. Um, there's also the option to um, slide. So you can slide the audio as you can see here. Now this is good for making quick edits or chopping audio. So, and that's also accessed by S. So mute is T and slip is S. And then the, a, another important tool that I use all the time is the slice. So slice is on C on the keyboard. Um, so you, by default, the slice tool kind of gives you this diagonal editing. So you can, you, can, you, can you can zoom in here and you can see that I'm chopping different sections off grid. But to, uh, to avoid that and basically use it more effectively, you want to hold shift, which creates a straight line with, its, the, the, with the, uh, slice tool. So holding shift and moving across the grid now enables you to slice uh, exact, more precisely and, and in a straight manner that you would want to. So um, you can also slice off grid if you hold Alt and uh, Shift. It will enable you to slice off grid so you can quickly get in there. And again, just coming back to right clicking and uh, zoom. So if you hold Control and right click, you can really get close into the audio with the slice tool enabled. And you're able to then make some fine adjustments and cuts here. So and then you can if you uh, also if you hold right click instead of left click, if I were to select a piece of audio, let's just undo that, sorry. So now I've got no cuts in my audio. If I hold, um, if I hold, if I right click, sorry, and press shift, the, the smallest part of the audio that I'm editing is gonna be instantly deleted. So if you wanted to come in and make some quick adjustments and chop some, chop some audio, you can just hold um, shift and right click to quickly delete things, uh, saving you going, uh, back to the draw tool, cutting it, deleting it. You can quickly do that from the slice tool, so that's real useful. Um, just touching on the undo functionality in FL, it's a little bit different. Um, so you might find that if I was to, so if I quickly just delete that, I press Control Z, and if I press, if I delete maybe two sections, if I press Control Z and Control Z again, it redoes. So it doesn't actually step back each time pressing Control Z. So to get around it, you can just hold Control and Alt uh, and Z. So Control Alt Z is how you go at the traditional way of Control Z. So, so if I make two adjustments going back, Control Z just uh, brings it back. It does a redo. But if I hold Alt, I can step all the way back and step through as a traditional undo would. Um, so yeah, I've got an arrangement here, but if I wanted to maybe make a quick radio edit of this um, arrangement, if I got asked to make a radio edit and Rather than opening up a whole new project, you can just simply create a new arrangement in FL. So at the top here, you've got the arrangement option there. So what you can do is you can either clone it, you can create a new one, add a new one. There's the option to merge it and obviously rename your different arrangements. So I'm just going to show you quickly uh, adding a new arrangement. So it's going to ask you if you want to copy all the instruments. So you can pretty much start from a blank slate if you want. But I'm going to, for this demo, just show you that you can create a new arrangement. We can call this like radio edit and it creates a whole new blank slate for me. And I can then bring all my uh, elements are still here from that previous project. 
so I can just start bringing stuff in. Maybe create a new arrangement. You can highlight things and press Control B on the keyboard uh, to duplicate them. So you can see I'm doing that there. Uh, obviously, Control C and Control V work as you'd expect. So you can highlight. Um, the thing is, though, Control Alt and Control B, uh, Control C and Control V in F are not really used that much because of the functionality of being able to just click on things and duplicate them quite easily. But I do find that Control B is quite useful for just quickly, quickly duplicating large sections of tracks. Now you can see I've just duplicated these instances as well. So to do that, you just highlight whatever you want to duplicate and hold shift. It will then create an, a duplicate and allow you to just move it along the playlist. So you can create quickly, if, you've, if you're working in audio, you can just quickly duplicate things by holding shift and dragging them around the screen. So you can see now I've got a new arrangement. I've got all the original sounds. really useful tool for creating quick edits, trying out ideas, maybe a slight different change to the arrangement, you've got an idea for a different build-up, you can quickly implement that and flip between the two ideas uh, just by selecting the different arrangements. So we go straight back to my original arrangement and everything is still there as I left it. Really powerful tool. Okay, so in this video, we've looked at a uh, how to navigate around the playlist, how to quickly duplicate things, some of the key shortcuts you wanna keep hold of, um, and how to create a new arrangement and try out some new ideas.